Pen won't let me panic. I thought it was high in the middle and round on both sides. Ohio? That's right, Zerf. Ohio is high in the middle and round on both sides, so... I guess, uh... The outside, you could make a racetrack. Honestly, racetracks with elevation change are more interesting anyway. But hey, folks, it's Vault 619. Who's that jumping out the sky? The Vault Guy. Mysterio. Here we go. Found a, find a shiny new gum while on a quest? Yeah, maybe I did. You can also, press X. I can't help making fun of Ohio after a decade of driving through the state to get to Indiana in my youth. Oh, so Indiana was the big prize after you got through Ohio? That's what you're telling me? Nope, oh the room's on fire. It was many, 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 many hours of nothing. <laughs> oh, jeez. The rest of the girls are all lined up here in soldier outfits. All right, Judy. Get back out here and help fight the fire. Well, it was no prize, just the destination. Bobo, yeah. you watching the playoffs? Bo, hi, yo. You know, I should be watching the playoffs, bona bona, but uh, my work schedule was making it hard enough for me to follow them while I had a rooting interest still. Wolfman, are you, are you being shy? Is that what's happening right now? Maybe you gotta put on the naughty nightwear. No, Judy, Judy, you're done here. Get back. Get back over there. Tammy the Amber? What if you put on, uh... Some nightwear. Oh my. Kayla. There's there's no nightwear for you to put on. Alright, only one thing for it. Not even when you're alone with Kayla? Hey, mysterious man. What do you think you're doing? Alright, Wolfman Kevin. Maybe, uh, maybe you have to reset the room, so to speak. My, that uh, naughty nightwear certainly is risque, isn't it? Well, that's just the regular nightwear. Uh, Wolfman Kevin is wearing the naughty nightwear. She's wearing the very, uh, the very chaste nightwear. Yep, <laughs> he goes sprinting up to Tammy as soon as uh, there's not somebody else in the room. Nothing like hanging out at home with my family. Oh, I see. He's actually beginning to uh, wise up about all this. Wolfman Kevin does have some standards. <laughs> Nothing like hanging out at home with my family in our underwear. This is fascinating. I approve of seeing this new, uh, this new, this new mechanic. All right, Tammy the Hamper, get back down to, uh... You folks will be done soon. None of the rest of you have, uh... Oh boy, we're running low on water. 
I see how her nightwear is naughty, but not how his is. This is what I had meant to rush before. That got us a success. All right. And uh, he's not gonna he's not gonna put any moves on Kayla Frost's because uh, Kayla Frost's is another of his progeny. Okay. I've learned something about the game today, everyone. That's a good that's a good day to have. Amber the Hamber, time for you to put on the nightwear and get up there. Time for you to meet up with one of your many wives. Actually, yeah, why not? Everything's just perfect, guys. Everything is as it should be. Perfect. You're gonna be done with that pipe rifle in not too long, thanks to the power of Kitty. I really hope everyone is as happy as you are too. I like how these folks are increasing their endurance by swinging bats at the ground. Well, that's what Sarah and other Sarah are doing. Um, Amy's doing curls to build her endurance, and uh, Bruce Frost's here is riding on a clipboard to increase his endurance. That's all good news. And we're running low on power again because... In my experience, uh, Kitty makes things take longer. In real life. Yeah. Hazel only gets in the way a little bit. I say as she is sleeping on the baby lounger. I mean, the baby's not there. The baby's up asleep, so... How many other vaults do you think there are out there? Presumably, there are at least 618 others. Zero minutes. I could waste a Nuka-Cola and get them there. So close. All right, and well, the goal was three, right? Yeah, so let's uh, get someone else on deck here. Where are you, creeper? Yeah, I caught you hiding behind uh, Tambi the Hamber. It's not very polite. The creepy man. Right, you don't need that anymore. Get on some um, country girl costume. Costume. It's real clothing for real work. Let's see. Carol? I know you are a second generation vault person, but uh, are you one of Wolfman Kevin's children? I mean, they're chatting nicely. Okay, no, not one of Wolfman uh, Kevin's children. Let's go check out uh, what's happening with uh, Paula being in a pickle here. As long as she doesn't get the inbred trait, it's fine. The inbred trait? I wonder if this is another gameplay mechanic I will find out about. Or if it's just a gag. Rescue Paula Plumpkin. 
I mean, they've made many changes to the game since the time that Ald played it, apparently. Who knows how many more have come along. Crusader Kings 2. Alright, you all got mildly irradiated by uh, fighting those, uh, those feral ghouls. Hopefully there's Rataway in here. We've got some, but, uh... But we're getting stint bags. And you see, uh... Since, uh, she has a little bit of radiation, uh... That level up did not completely fill up her health. But since we've only got three Rataways, I feel like I need to save them. Gotta be this way. Got to knock him out, man. Rad roaches. Ah. Uh. Hey, we got some rataways. Good job, ladies. And just a room with treasure. That's cool. Sawed off shotgun. Defenders Not of the universe. Not going to be anyone's uh, number one choice weapon, but... Oh, that elevator doesn't go up anymore. I guess we're going this way. Wait, are they Voltron defenders of the universe? Keep moving on here. Jeez, another sawed-off shotgun. Making short work of them. Yeah, they uh, they go down pretty fast, but they uh, they do irradiate you a little bit. So that's their party trick, basically. There are other enemies that will irradiate you that do a lot more damage and do a lot more radiation damage. So uh, they're I feel like they're they're there to introduce you to the concept. They also move really fast, too, so that's... That's their other party trick. Feels like this is the right way. Well, it's not. No, it could be. What we are looking for could be directly beneath us right now. All these curly cube buildings. Just imagine if you worked in this building and this was the room you had to get to. So you had to walk through the entire end of the building, go to this elevator lobby, walk the entire other end of the building, go to this elevator lobby, and then come down. Are we having fun yet? This place is honey bunches of sawed-off shotguns. Very interesting, though. I know a lot of Lucky Vault members. Luck, lucky Nick Vault residents are going to get themselves. Your wasteland adventures. Oh, thanks, Ethereum. Yeah, we won't be at this uh, too much longer, I don't imagine. But Night, Zephy. yeah, we're having. Uh, <clears throat> it's going to be Christmas time Night back at the vault. We're going to give everybody sawed-off shotguns. Hmm. 
Why don't you go ahead and... You know what? No. Oh. Wait a minute. Don't go in the uh, elevator shaft yet. There's obviously treasure. Including a Nuka-Cola Quantum. Yeah, the elevators in this room are just really... Or the this building are just really strange. Poor building design, guys. You're in this relatively together. Are you the rescue squad? I hope so. I'm Mandy McIntosh. The feral ghouls captured a bunch of us. I think they were saving us all for a snack. One lady, Paula Plumkin, managed to escape. She's my new hero. Did Paula say where she was going? She mentioned visiting You've some been vault. Infected. Mandy, gonna have to kill you. Vault 333? Maybe? Aw, uh, we don't ask her if she wants to come with us. You can come with us. Baseball bat, 5 to 15. It's the best melee weapon I've seen so far. Dang. Seems a bit of a stress to say that it would only hurt slightly less than being hit with, like, a combat shotgun, but, uh... So many guns for all my friends. It's gonna be great. And more ghouls. Time for them to go to ghoul school. It's not a shotgun. Yeah, no, this baseball bat packs the punch of a shotgun, apparently. That's what we're learning from uh, the damage stats that we were just reading. Dang, they're giving away Nuka-Cola Quantums like Nuka-Cola Candy. I guess I do not object, but still. Well, hello. And what's in this final room? No thing. Well, here. You take a rat away. You take a rat away. Nothing. You take a rat away. This was quite the building in the end, wasn't it? We didn't rescue Paula Plumpkin, though, did we? We rescued M M Molly... whatever. Yeah, whatever. We got some sawed-off shotguns, baseball bat, Nuka-Cola. Good time was had by all. Mandy McIntosh. Mandy McIntosh. All is on it. Look at all this loot. All right, we're gonna try this again. Molly B. Denim. Can you guys do it? One more. In theory, you have. You Better than even I. Nope. You could get the ladies home. Yeah, I get the ladies home. Well, 
Oh, mole rats. Mm. Get your battle armor back down and then get in here to battle. So many rounds going into so many more rats. They just seem to be made of some much thicker stuff than uh, I remember being them being made of in the games. I prefer my Miller at burgers unleaded. Well, I mean, these ones are getting leaded. <laughs> Raymond! No celebratory gunfire. Alright, we need electricity. Not getting electricity. a lot of rad riches too. Well, I mean, if you can't do anything right now, might as well get in there and help them fight. Yes, I get it. There's not very much food because the uh, diner is not powered right now. It's a calamity. That's going to take you guys ten minutes. Alright, so seriously, where does Wolf... Wolfman Kevin, you don't live up here anymore. Carol, you don't live up here anymore either. My goodness, guys. Get it together. Thirty seconds. It's not going to be enough electricity. Oh, the power plant is fully upgraded. Well, nuts. There isn't enough power. We need more. I know, guys. I'm trying. Forget you have a reward to collect. Yeah, I suppose and the reward might be power if it's a really crappy reward. Everybody's going hungry. Come on, guys. Hurry up and make that food. Let's quick claim this uh just had my last evening vital signs and tests, so me dozing off is imminent. Thanks for keeping me company. Well, 
that's I mean it's good to know that I was uh that I that I had a positive impact this evening other than just dicking around here on the internet like I usually do. I'll see whether or not I can try and be on for the next little while. I you know, in case you're in case you're there for a little bit. I might see if I can try and do some activities tomorrow. Oh, failure. Hopefully not fail. Alright, where's Creeper McGree? Where's Creeper McGree? Where's Creeper McGee? I just heard him. Nope, he's gone. You guys should be the best suited for this. I gave you all the best weapons that we have. Two minutes till we got another pipe rifle. That's exciting news, and then I get you started up on another thing. It's another wonderful day in the vault for everyone. Fifteen minutes till you ladies get back. Mmm. Yeah. We'll go ahead and just get you back now. And collect all these items. Yeah, we're low on storage space now. Shoot. And I guess that leveled you up. Good to know. Take a look at the quest list. We get another pet. We find Paula Plumkin there. Let's go ahead and continue on on this plot line. Let's get Team Coffee Break going here. Do we have any extra pets? No. We don't have any pets, so you guys need pets. There you go. Hey, we leveled up someone else. All you folks are specifically not going to level up, so that does put a slight crimp into things. Just tied out in the dark there, folks. Alright. Really do wish that, uh, had more power going and more food going. Yay, let's craft something else. Or another of the same. Alright, it's officially bedtime in Canada. See you next time. Okay, well, thanks for hanging out, Zerf. Let's see, we've got... Night, Zerf. I mean, the enhanced sawed-off shotgun is a better weapon, but it requires more materials. Just go for another pipe rifle. We're gonna make this the standard issue. Standard issue armament for the vault for the short term. You got all the materials though. I mean I do have all the materials. 
Let's see, you Nova, have you sure LP Final Fantasy 9. Why Final Fantasy 9? Out of curiosity. I, uh... That's the best one. Really? It's interesting. I have heard a lot of different opinions. Let's try this baseball it bat out. It reminds me a lot of Seiken Densetsu 3. Isn't Seiken Densetsu 3 like an action RPG though? Or am I thinking of something else? It's really a great game, one of my favorite of all time. Bobo plus Vivi equals win-win. I mean, suppose one never knows, but it Lighting, was not one sort of on not my list to system. do. Yeah. Okay. I've, uh, let's see here. And general graphics and art style. Hmm. Going through the slow process of yours are for JG, really, or all. Oh, so I'm not even special anymore. I see how it is. But uh, yeah, no, I understand. Um, six, seven, okay, slight improvement. What I'm saying, it's just a good game, lol. <laughs> I gotcha. It's funny, I'll I think, for, what it eventually. for whatever reason, uh, I think JG's favorite of them was X, and that he also really liked 8, which was one that apparently a lot of people didn't enjoy. But, uh... Nice, nice, nice. Three nices. Get you a pipe rifle. Get you a pipe rifle. Oh yeah, JG really has a thing for X, but I never got into it. Currently heavy lever action rifle. I give you a rusty shot off shot. A shot off shot kid. Four is my favorite. Is, hmm, is for the one I'm thinking of as two. This, of course, requires you to have knowledge of my thoughts, but uh, USFF two. Yeah. Okay. I enjoy that one, um, at least in part because uh, it's one of the games I'm especially happy to have a physical copy of. Um, that I got basically because this guy owed me money. And so I just was like, look, I'm gonna hang on to this, uh, gonna hang on to this copy of Final Fantasy as collateral because you don't seem to be that interested in getting me my money. So that's what happened. Let's get you a nice rifle. You have a nice they rifle. They the Starflight series. It had a good universe and can be a sort of Mass Effect style sandbox game. Yeah, there. You know, it's funny you mentioned that. For one, Ald is, I believe, currently LPing the original Starflight. Uh, and for another, I think JG had pointed out. I want to say earlier this year or last year, there was a uh, there was a Kickstarter that got put together uh, by the by at least one of the creators of the original Starflight game. Mass Effect was inspired by Starflight, and there is a fan Starflight three in the works. Yeah, there was supposed to be like an actual like one of the creators was making one. Or maybe two of the creators? I don't know. There was some team that involved the original, some of the original people. But, uh. 
Well, I'll be. Yeah, you had the worst weapon. So let's get you a lever action rifle. Let's get you rusty lever action rifle. That might be as good as you could. No, we get you a scope 44. You could also get a scope 44 because everybody that had these scope 44s before have now gotten cool rifles. I think I asked JG to LPFF9 once around like 2013 or so. I could see that. <clears throat> Seems like the kind of thing that he, you know, might get around to. There's just so many sort of games out there that uh, I could see it as being the kind of thing that you know you just don't get to in the end. All right, that's the room of enhanced 10 millimeter pistols. Starting to run out of guns here, everybody. Sorry. I'm kind of hoping that none of you will have to fight, anyways, because that's a good way for you to uh, gain experience, and I don't want you to actually do that. Alright, you have new guns, so hopefully, if this fails, you'll get to use your cool new guns. Yes, use your firefighting guns. It'll be great. Shoot the fire. That works, right? I fire with PP. I do remember, was it the, uh, yeah, it was the Tree of Might, uh, sort of movie lit thing, uh, from Dragon Ball Z, where, like, the beginning, like, all the Z fighters are, like, out having a picnic or whatever, and then there's a forest fire, and, uh, you know, this was an old dub, I don't know whether or not they would have changed any of the dialogue slightly later on, but uh, I, I just remember uh, Krillin saying like, Gohan, use your powers to put out the fire! Like, like their powers to shoot blasts of energy would somehow put out a fire, but it did work. They just sort of started going yeah, And uh, the fire went out. <laughs> because that's how firefighting works. You just charge up your energies. Jeez, do I need another food room? You know, food room. Like food libraries. There's another level up. That'll get me towards the... That that goal. Okay. Is that room full of workers? Uh, not a hundred percent, but it's got five workers in it, and these are not. You know, these are some of the. These are the starting workers, so they're not super skilled. They need agility. I mean, it would be a temporary loss, but I could have. Some of them come down to the athletics room, although the athletics room is full of people right now. Oh, look at this, guys. We got our agility on our agility crew here up to eight. The perception on our perception crew is not all the way that far yet because I guess they got started later. 
the strength on our strength crew. It's like anywhere from seven to nine. And our endurance folks are, yeah, going to be down, down pretty low because they all just got started. Still. That means that I'm going to be able to send some of these, like, pretty soon I'll be able to send some of these weight room people. And, uh... Yeah, I'll be able to send some weight crew people down here to, uh, earn endurance. Level up, Shaker McGee. Keep working your way towards getting that pipe rifle made. Everybody's starving, guys. Please work. Okay, good. I don't like leaving the game where anything is sufficient. It is deficient. I don't like leaving the game that way. Yeah, we're not going to be able to collect 150 water in under a minute. Um... We'll be able to level up 15 dwellers eventually. I can sell six weapons or outfits. I can just take some of the really crappy guns off of people and sell those. I like keeping the outfits around just for, you know, when I need to equip somebody with something to give them a little passive stat boost. You guys are all wearing the most... <laughs> I didn't even realize you were there. You guys are wearing the most agility-raising outfits that we have, right? Oh, we got a handyman jumps- another handyman jumpsuit. Somebody should be wearing that. Your agility is only being raised one by that initiate robe, so let's get you in the handyman jumpsuit. Oh, that will help you get a little bit more foodie going here in a second. Yeah, sell the crappy weapons. What was the, uh... Oh, we get a lunchbox out of it. That's probably better than, uh, crappy weapons. Wow, such an amazing game. Yeah, Vision it's not the... It's, it's, it's not the fanciest game out there. But, uh, it's just here for a little bit of fun. Let's get rid of... Put that rusty BB gun back in here. Rusty 32 cal. Give me that energy. Sell them all. So that's four. that. Do we actually not have any normal 10 millimeter pistols? Could have sworn we had some normal 10 millimeter pistols. Yeah, like you got one. All right, that ought to do it. Hooray! Lunchbox! What's in it? Dude! Another armored vault suit. A baseball glove. Some caps. This is our last card. It's gonna be something good. Kinda? Mm, they can't all be winners. Not get up there, get that food to everybody, and get that water. Here, you now the get an enhanced helped. shotgun. The food did help. Everybody's getting a little hangry here in the vault. 
You already have those, basically. There you go. Uh, what did you kids all have? Ah, you're all fine. I'm gonna give that gun to here. You gave up your gun in the cause of getting that box. So, here. It's only gonna be 12 minutes. I'm actually, I'm feeling very tired though, so I'm going to go ahead and let that pass. Uh, maybe I'll be able to visit that subject tomorrow. But I'm gonna go ahead and call it here for the evening. Because, uh, my head's starting to hurt. And I have some things to do tomorrow, early in the morning, so let me save the game. Night, Bobo. Thanks, Alt. Let me go to the main menu. And when we come back again, our action crew is going to be out doing action moves, but uh, that'll have to wait. Uh, thanks, everybody, for coming along. Glad that I could... Uh, glad that I could be of entertainment service to people who needed it. Everyone have a good night, and take care of yourselves. Bye now.